Watch the ball, everyone. Watch the ball. Eyes up. Good rock work. Tap it on. Fly on. Sport is a vital part of growing up. A contest between two teams, and particularly in footy, it teaches us so much about interacting with others. You're part of a team playing a game against another team, and that's healthy, lively, and best of all, it's fun. Starters, footy helps teach us communication and social skills. It builds self-discipline, character, commitment, and self-esteem. Go, 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 Kids and grown-ups get a feeling of physical well-being and fitness from playing footy, which is great. The mental health benefits for kids and for grown-ups in children's sport is one, the fun factor. It's two, socially, they learn a lot of social skills, so they learn how to interact with different types of people, make compromises, um, team skills as well. And the other thing is for self-esteem and self-confidence, so they have a sense of achievement, but they also learn how to handle success and how to handle it well. We learn about sportsmanship and we learn to respect opposition players and officials. And we learn to appreciate the important role of the umpire. <laughs> Keep it nice and open. Eyes up. Good enough. Well done. We learn to accept decisions that sometimes we think might not be quite right. And we get to understand that winning and losing are all part of playing. They're not why we play. Remember, in children's sports, we're not playing for sheep stations. Oh, come on, umpire, that was a free kick. Oh, there it is, an umpire. That was a free kick back there. Where's your white cane? Have you lost your whistle, umpire? Now, come on, son, go in hard. Come on, that kid can't play. He couldn't knock a fly over top. For goodness sake, I don't know why I bought it. Come on, son, go in hard. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Go on, come on! With a parent who is putting on a lot of pressure for their child, I would remind them that children's sport is all about fun and that their actions can have a lot of consequences later on in a child's life. And their role is to actually support the child and make sure that that support does not embarrass the child but actually makes them encouraged by what their parents are doing. On, Kids become embarrassed and lose interest in playing come footy on, if mum or dad become it. too critical oh, or vocal. Like Don't oh, live your sporting dream through your kids. The aim of the program is to maximise the enjoyment of young players in club football. And we want to make sure that, uh, that parents understand the benefits that football provides to their kids but also understand that they're there for their enjoyment. And, uh, and we think that this is going to improve the quality of the environment for participants. It's critical for us that we invest in the grassroots because uh, ultimately the success of the AFL competition depends on young players, young umpires coming through and also the, the participants at, at the early age group are fans of the game. They're the people who watch television, who actually attend games. So we see the investment as being very important. Objectives of AFL Kids First are to provide a framework in which leagues and clubs can encourage constructive parent behaviour, develop the parental understanding of the importance of setting the right example in junior sports, increase parent ownership by providing a quality sporting environment, promote good social behaviour in junior sport, promote appreciation and increase respect for the umpire, promote encouragement of all children in the game not just your own team. Reduce the number of conflict situations at junior matches. As part of the program, the AFL is providing junior clubs across Australia with posters showing a code of conduct for parents. Remember that children play sport for their enjoyment, not yours. Encourage children to participate. Do not force participation upon them. Focus on the child's efforts and self-esteem 
rather than whether they win or lose. Encourage children to always participate according to the rules. Never ridicule or yell at a child for making a mistake or for the team losing a game. Remember, children learn best by example. Applaud the efforts of all players in both teams. Support all efforts to remove verbal and physical abuse from sporting activities. Show appreciation for volunteer coaches, administrators and officials without whom your child could not participate. Respect umpires' decisions and teach children to do likewise. Remember that smoking and the consumption of alcohol is unacceptable at junior sport. Every club will receive an AFL Kids First manual. In the manual there is a template there for a breach of code of conduct which the club can utilise and enforce if need be. With a breach of a code of conduct, most clubs will address it in-house, have a chat to them, educate them, if need be face the committee, or at worst case scenario, that the club may ban the child from playing with that club until the parent abides by the code of conduct. So the ultimate success of Kids First rests with the common sense of mums and dads. Sport and football in particular can be a wonderful experience for kids and a very important part of their growing up, but only if parents put kids first. AFL Kids First is a great program because it does keep reminding people that children's sport is mostly about fun. It highlights the social aspects, it also helps them understand physically that children do need to have an outlet, they do need to stay physically active so that we fight some of the other issues that we're having in society with obesity, but at the end of the day it's a great opportunity for parents to spend time with their children and also develop their own social networks. So just remember, put kids first, we're not waiting for sheep stations.